It's easy to communicate with ATC if you have functioning radios. But what would you do if your radio equipment became inoperable during flight? How would you communicate with ATC at a controlled airport? We'll move on to talk about light gun signals and how they can help you in case of a communications failure. Now, light gun signals are used by ATC at tower-controlled airport to communicate with pilots who have had radio equipment failure or those aircraft that don't have radios at all. The light gun signals are color-coded and provide you with different directions depending on ground or airborne operation. If you're on the ground and you experience a radio failure before departure, you'd call the tower by phone rather than expecting a light signal. They can easily give you a light signal, but sometimes it does distract from other more important activities. They would prefer you shut down and call them by phone to arrange prior departure with the light gun signal. Now, if you're on the ground and you see a flashing green light signal, it indicates you're cleared to taxi. A steady green light, a steady green light signal indicates you're cleared for takeoff. A flashing red light gun signal indicates you should taxi clear of the runway in use. And a steady red, just like a traffic signal, indicates you should stop wherever you are. If you see a flashing white light gun signal, you should return to your starting point on the airport. An alternating red and green light means you should exercise extreme caution when operating on the surface of that airport. Now, the light gun signals you see on the ground have different meanings than those you see in the air. Let's take a look at the use of airborne light gun signals. First, if you're in the air and you have a communications failure, you should remain outside of the airport traffic area and observe the traffic flow. You can do this by flying above the traffic pattern or remaining safely outside of it until you've observed the flow. You should then enter the traffic pattern and look for light gun signals from the tower. Because it's a tower controlled field, they're going to expect radio contact to have been made with every aircraft. And when they see you entering the traffic pattern without first talking to you, that's their signal to get the light gun out. The light gun signals in the air are similar to what you would see on the ground, but they have slightly different meanings. The flashing white does not apply in the air. So if you're in the air, ATC will not give you a flashing white signal. A flashing green light in the air means you should return for a landing. A steady green light indicates you're cleared to land. The flashing red light indicates the airport is unsafe. Do not land. You need to land at another airport. A steady red light indicates to give way to another aircraft. It doesn't mean you may not be able to get into that airport, but just means you should give way to another aircraft at that time. If you see the alternating red and green light, it's similar to the meaning on the ground. You should exercise extreme caution when trying to land at that airport. If you're airborne and receiving light gun signals from ATC, you should acknowledge the tower that you understand the light signals by rocking the wings during the day or blinking your landing light at night. This lets ATC know you've seen and understand the light gun signal and will operate accordingly. All right, let's take a question on light gun signals. Which light signal from the control tower clears a pilot to taxi? Again, pretty straightforward. It's only one. The correct answer, A, flashing green light signal clears a pilot to taxi.